Hello class, in this video, I'm going to show you a way of how to set up your image plane uh, when you have three uh, different uh, reference images to use. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is I want to, I wanna set up my project directory. So I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna go into project window. And within this window, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this image planes. I want to make sure that I have the correct location. Uh, I want this to be not there. So I need to go into my drive. And I can go into this product folder. I'm going to tell it to select. I want all these different folders right here. I'm going to tell it to accept. Now, great. The reason I did this is because what I want to do now I want to, I have these different image planes that I want to use. I'm just going to go ahead and select them all. I have four of them. I'll show you what they look like. Um, on Windows, I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to tell it to copy them. And you can do the same thing on a Mac where you're able to select them in, uh, copy, paste. I'm now going to navigate to the folder that I want to put them in. And I want to navigate specifically to this project directory that I just created. So I'm going to go into my projects and I created the image planes folder. And within here, I want to put my images in my source images folder. So I'm going to go, go ahead and right mouse click and I'm going to tell it to paste. And it's copying these images into that folder. Now let me show you the, the images that we have. Uh, this is of a hammer. And I want to start off with the, the side view because this is the, the, this is the image that we're going to mainly be doing most of our modeling from. I've already set this image up. Uh, I took these uh, images of, I took a photo of a hammer that I had, and I tried my best to try to center it. And I took an image from the front, I'm, I'm sorry, from the side, also one of the front. And it's not necessarily helpful to see the hammerhead there, but it does give me a nice shape of how thick it is. Also, I have one of the back so we could see the actual claw. And then I tried to create one from the top view. So we could see the actual shape. So using the combination of these different images, we're gonna be able to help create the shape of our model. But these are the images that I wanna use. So now that they're in my product directory here, I'm gonna go into Maya. And what I want to do is in the create menu, I want to create a free image plane. I'm going to go and select it. And now we have this image plane. I'm going to switch from my channel box over here to my attribute editor. And under image plane attributes, I'm going to locate image name. I'm going to, I'm going to be able to select that little folder and it's going to open up a Maya window. And because I set my project directory and my image planes are here, I've copied them in there. I'm now able to select my images. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the side image plane. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to open. And it's gonna put my image plane in here. I wanna do a couple of things. The first thing I'm gonna go back to my channel box. And right now I don't have my settings for the the location. So I'm going to deselect it by just clicking anywhere in the background and I'm going to highlight it again or just do a marquee selection to select it. And now I get the translate X, Y, and Z. I want to switch, select the translate Y because I want to raise it up. Uh, I'm going to switch to my front view temporarily and I just want to raise it up. Uh, this looks good. I want it to, to be so that it's kind of sitting on uh, this uh, uh, the origin axis. So we have this, but notice that this was my side image and that's in the front view. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to switch to the rotate tool, uh, E on your keyboard, and I'm gonna rotate this for the rotate Y 90 degrees. So this is going to be 
my side view. I'm going to move it in a moment, but first I'm going to put all of my side front and top view down first. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch to my uh, selection tool, Q on your keyboard. I'm going to duplicate this image plane. And to duplicate it, it's already selected. And you can see it's selected here in my outliner, but I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to use duplicate. Uh, I will be using the keyboard shortcut control D and that's the same on a Mac and PC. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, press control D. And now we have image plane two. Uh, what I want to do with image plane two, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and reach rotate Y back to zero. So I have this, uh, I'm going to switch back to the attribute editor and I'm going to change the image. I don't want the side image. I want instead now the front image. I'm going to tell it to open. So now I have this. Now I'm not done. Now what I'm going to do uh, with, I'm going to, I'm going to select my image plane one again. I'm going to select it and I'm going to press, I'm going to duplicate it, control D this time for image plane three, let's go ahead and switch this, uh, the, the image from the side view to this time, I want to use the top view. I can tell it open. And what I wanna do with this one, I need to do some rotations. So let's go back to my channel box. I wanna make sure that the top view is selected. And what I want to do, I'm going to switch to my rotate tool, E on your keyboard. And notice that what's happening right now, we, we have some clipping going on. So I'm going to rotate this down this way so that rotate X is going to be minus 90 degrees. But then what I need to do, I need to rotate so that the hammerhead is pointing towards the positive Z. So this has to be rotate Y, should be back to zero. So now I have my image planes here at the origin axis. And what I wanna do, let me go ahead and change the rotate Y back to, to, to zero. And I switch to my selection tool. And what, I, what I'm doing on this one, I am using image planes instead of creating a polygon plane to place my images. I like image planes better, uh, because this is uh, what they're used for. Uh, one thing that we could also do, I did not do, but I'm going to be able to do this to all of them. I'm going to select all of my image planes. And for the alpha gain right here, uh, I could either do it right here. I'm, I'm going to go to my image plane. There's alpha gain. And I like this one because it's a, it's a meter. And we're going to be able to change. Oh, you know what? It's not changing all of them. So let me go back to the channel box. Uh, with all of these image planes selected, if you click on the word alpha gain and move your mouse into your window here, if you press and hold down the middle mouse button, and now you're able to change this value. So I'm going to go about to, to 0.5. So they're semi-transparent. Then what I want to do, now if you like to model with your image planes here in the center, you may leave them where they're at. You can see in their top view, your front view and your side view. Uh, but personally, what I like to do, I like to push my image planes off to the side. So I'm gonna select, for example, the side view, switch to my move tool, and I'm just gonna push it over here. And the reason that I do this, why I push them away, is so that when I'm modeling, within my views for the front, side, and top, you notice that they don't change. You can see they're still there. But when I go to my perspective view, I don't want my image planes to be in my way. So I move them off to the side. So I'm focusing in within this window so you can see where they're at. Now what I wanna do so that my image planes don't get in the way as I'm working, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them, all three of my image planes. I can switch to my selection tool. And in my channel box, at the very bottom, we have our layer editor. I want to I want to click on this button right here. This is a keyboard shortcut uh, or the shortcut button. Uh, I'm going to click on it. And what this does, this creates a new layer, 
plus anything that you have selected is automatically added to this layer. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this layer one. And within this edit layer, I'm gonna change this not to layer one. I'm gonna label this image uh, plane, image planes. Uh, within this window, you do need to, you cannot have um, the space, uh, white spaces. You, I, I have to put like a, a underscore. Otherwise, let me show you, save. You're gonna get this <laughs> this warning uh, that you need to have valid uh, alphanumeric characters. So I'm gonna, so you can't use a space, the space bar. I'm going to tell it to save. And what I wanna do down here, uh, you now have the visibility, but over here, the third box, I'm gonna click on it. Uh, that's T for template, R for reference. So when I deselect, Notice that you cannot select your image planes. They're part of your scene uh, and you won't be able to select them accidentally. Uh, what I'm going to do, I wanna make sure that I save my file, uh, save scene as, and within here, I'm just gonna call this one, uh, ultimately there's gonna be my polygon hammer. So polygon hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to save continue. And there we go. Our, my scene is ready uh, to start modeling. So this is a, a different way of being able to bring in your image uh, references as image planes instead of having to create polygon planes to assign a texture to then apply your image onto that texture. Uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.